Hello guys, this is Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy. Please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure that you also register with Excel Academy. In today's class, I'm just simply revising with you on some few histology slides. Please take note that this is just my part two of my revision. That means that there is also part one, which you need to go back and revise with me. The first slide is this slide which we have been given. Let's quickly look at the question. The first question is name the slide. So if you look at this slide, this slide is made up of dense irregular connective tissue and you can also take note of numerous adipocytes so if you look at some of the numerous adipocytes you can check out all these adipocytes are making up this uh, this slide so if you look at this slide this slide is just a subligo gland this is just a subligo gland okay so please make sure that you take note of that make sure that you master this slide let me quickly go on the next question the next question is give two reasons so when you talk of two reasons, you can talk about the presence the presence of uh, the presence of dense dense irregular connective tissue dense irregular connective tissue irregular connective connective tissue okay so that's one of the reasons you can give the other reason you can give is that the presence the presence okay the presence of uh, the presence of adipose tissue or adipocytes okay which are just um fat cells you can talk about the adipose tissue or the adipocyte you can also talk about the presence of the mucus cells the presence okay presence of mucus cells which we are going to look at later on in this um, revision class okay so let's quickly move on the next question we have been given this slide and the first question on this slide is name the slide so if you look at this slide this slide is just the tongue so this slide is just the tongue when you talk of the tongue you can simply look at the epithelial tissue you can also look at the the muscles which are underlying this same um, slide so this slide is just the what the 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 tongue the other part the other question is give two reasons for your answer so the first reason i can give is um the presence of the presence of um the presence of the muscles which i've just mentioned and when we talk of the type of muscles which are in this time is just the the skeletal muscles so you can talk about the presence the presence of skeletal muscles so the tongue is made up of skeletal muscles okay the other reasons you can talk about is um the numerous blood vessels so you can see some blood vessels like this one here is just simply a blood vessel so you can look at presence of blood vessels blood vessels blood vessels surrounded by pericytes okay so blood vessels surrounded by pericytes so pericytes are just uh, cells that give support to the to the blood vessels so this is just some of the few um, few reasons you can give when we talk about the the tongue okay so when you talk of these blood vessels these blood vessels you find them in the what in the lamina propria so you find a lot of blood vessels in this slide okay 
Let's quickly look at the next question. So label the part indicated by the black arrow I've already stated, which is just blood vessels. So these are blood vessels. And when you talk of these blood vessels, they are being surrounded with uh, peri pericytes. So we can't, we can't identify the pericyte, though there are some dark spots cells which are around the blood vessels. We can't simply identify them with um with this slide but we can identify them on other slide but that should not limit us from giving the reasons okay let me quickly look at this special slide so name the slides so this slide if you look at this slide you can see some beautiful cells these cells which are just the mesenchymal cells and these mesenchymal cells you can also name them as fibroblast so if you look at these guys these guys are being connected by the by the what by the collagen fibers so if you look at this you need to understand that this is just the umbilical cord so in this case they haven't they haven't projected the vein and the arteries they haven't projected the veins and the arteries in this way they have only um they have only uh projected the what the what's on e jerry so in this case we are just showing the what's on jelly of the umbilical cord okay the next one is give two reasons for your answer so when you talk of the type of connective tissue this is just the muco tissue so this is just a muco type of connective tissue so you can give such a reason okay so one reason you can talk about is the watson jelly since we uh, we have talked that this is the umbilical cord so the presence of the the presence of the muco the muco tissue the muco connective tissue connective tissue okay this connective tissue and this is just the watson jelly okay so we can talk about the watson jelly all right the other thing you can talk about is also the fiber breast the fiber breast which are mesenchymal cells so you can also talk of presence of fibroblast okay fibroblast so these fibroblasts are just simply coming from the what from the mesenchymal cells these are just coming from the mesenchymal cells okay okay yeah let me quickly look at the next question in case there is one okay label the part shown by the red arrow so we are just talking about that so in this case this is just the fiber breast and when we talk of the fiber breast we are just simply talking about the mesenchymal mesenchymal cells yeah i'm putting two answers like when you talk of um when you talk of this part of the mesenchymal cells i'm putting two answers one i'm using is the fibroblast and the other one i'm using is the mesenchymal cells the reason is why is that some lecturer you find that they'll use mesenchymal cell instead of fibroblast and then some will use fibroblast so it depends on who has said the exam okay let me move on and look at the next slide so please make sure that you register with excel academy and also make sure that you are able to subscribe to this important youtube channel so name the slides so if you look at this slide this slide is still the subligo gland so this slide is still the subligo gland okay so take note of that so this is the subligo gland all right the next one is label part a and b so if you look at part a part a these are just mucus cells mucus cells so these are just mucus cells and then when you talk of part b uh this is just 
this is just Sarah's. This is just Sarah's uh, demilin. This is just Sarah's demilin. So when you talk of Sarah's demilin, which is these cells here, so the the major function of the Sarah's demilin is that it produces the fluid, and this fluid contains the lysosome. So when this lysosome uh, acts on the on the bacterium in short it is playing a role in the uh, in the immune system of a human being so these are just some of the important component of the subligo gland which you need to take note of let me quickly move on and look at this important slide so guys make sure that you register with excel academy and also make sure that you kindly um you kindly subscribe to this youtube channel because there is a lot that we are going to deliver okay so this slides is name the slides so in this case this is just the skin of the hue the skin of the hue the skin of the hue so you can give that or you can also just say thick skin so it depends on who is marking you but both answers are correct it can be thick skin or you can just simply say uh, the skin label the part a uh, the part a when you look at this part this is just the the uh the stratum corneum so this is just the stratum corneum which is one of the layers of the skin okay and it's part of the epidermis so that's the stratum corneum okay looking at the next one let me looking uh let me quickly look at the next one okay the next one is this one and the first question is name the slides the first question is name the slide so if you look at this slide this is just the vagina this is just the vagina okay so um that's the slides of the vagina so when you look at the the vagina the vagina is made up of stratified squamous epithelium, which is non-keratinized. Please take note of that. The vagina is made up of the what? It's made up of the uh, stratified squamous epithelium. Okay. Give reason to your answer. I'll give the reasons which I've already stated. Um, presence presence of stratified 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 squamous epithelium stratified squamous epithelium 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 which is non keratinized which is non keratinized which is non keratinized keratinized okay all right let me quickly move on i think i'm done for today's uh lesson for our histology lab revision and this was our part two please make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel and feel free to contact me on the numbers on the screen thank you very much for joining me have a blessed day